You go down in the corner and it says all programs, hit that and then when you go through this whole list there should be, see here's mine, it says movie maker program like that and then that's where it is. That's how you should find it in your computer. Every computer has it, you don't buy it. Okay, so over here in the corner it says import up here and it says audio or music, pictures, videos. We're not going to do that right now. Um, and from the digital camera, I don't, I don't ever use that. So we're going to import pictures first. And now here's all my pictures. I'm sure you know how to do that. So I'm going to import uh, the pictures of my kids' rash. So pictures, and then pictures, and then pictures. And it says audio or music. Now it has to be an MP3 format, and this is all my all my music. I get this off LimeWire, but um, you can get this off any shared host. That seems to work. <clears throat> so here we go. Here's all our music and pictures. Now when you go down here, here's where you make the movie. So what you do is you can push one picture, push Control A, and it turns them all. I think you you would know that some other way. And you take this and you can kind of drag it down. And it's going to drag all the pictures down here. And I believe here, if you go over here to the right, here's this little scroller thing right here. You go like this, and that's where you can see where the music is down here too. All right, so I'm going to scroll back up. Now I want the pi pictures in a very specific order. Now you can put them down one at a time, um, but if you put them all down, it might make it easier. It just depends on what you're doing. So I'm gonna do one. I like this one. I like it. And there, we'll put this one for last because this one seems to be the big clincher. So see how you can slide them and change them around. See that? You can slide them, change them around. <coughs> if you want to put um, a title before them all, you go up here where it says Edit. And it says effects, transitions, and titles. All right, so here's titles. We're going to do a title at the beginning. And we're going to write um, Rashy Boy. Okay, oh, that's not it. There's no H in there. Shoot. Rashy. Now you can see how it looks over here where it says Rashy Boy. Now um, it says you can change the title animation. So paint drip looks like that. Um, mirror. You know, there's all these different effects you can do. Um, let's see, we can do uh, scrolling up like that. There's all these different ones, so you can pick one. So I'll, I'll pick uh, that one. All right, now it says edit the title text. Okay, that's if I didn't like what I wrote and I wanted to change it. Um, edit the text font and color. Um, here's the little colors. You can change the background. Watch this. Okay. And see, now it turned purple, or whatever color that looks to you. And then you can change the lettering, too. Here, watch, we'll make it some crazy color, like the pink, and say, okay. Now look at, the, look at how that works now over there. Okay? And then if you want to edit the text, here, you can use any kind of print. Here, watch this. There, you can use any kind of print. Here's a print. Here's one. Um, if you want it to be really huge, you just push the big button. Oh, oh am I doing this? Can you see this? Big boy, big rashy boy. See. So then what you do is you t you push add title and now it's at the beginning of your movie. Um, now it's got the music going, it's already got the title going so we can practice to see what we think. So you push play right here and then you watch it. like crap. This is the amoxicillin. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, yep. They did a bad, bad thing. 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 Okay, so that's how you get going on this. Now, um, that's how you do your title. Now, over here it says, there is the titles and credits. We practiced with that. Um, effects. Now, this is really important. Effects, it'll bring up all these different things you can do. Um, so watch what it can do to a picture. You click on one of your pictures. Here, I'll click on Rashy Boy right there. Now, watch this. You click on one, like, let's say we want it to, um, okay, be 
black and white. Yes. Now you add that, you just drag it down, you add it. Now look at my kid, he's black and white now. All right, if you don't like it, you right click and you push remove. Um, now watch all the other crazy things you can do. Um, you can make it go wobbly, warp, okay? Pull this down, put it on the kid. Where is he? Like here? Watch. Watch when I push the play button. Look, it warps. Okay, so, so there's all your little fun things you can do there. So that's how you take each picture and screw around with it the way you want. Um, there's also, um, these are really important. See how this over here, it says speed up double. We do speed up double. Watch this. Put one, two down here. Put one, two here. You can do one. This is how I do my stop motion movies. One, two here, and then one, two here. Now you can see how this works out. Uh, go all the way back to the beginning. Ready? Now push play and see what happens. Watch how fast this goes. See how it goes that much faster? Okay, so that to me is one of the most important things that I use on this um, so I can make the pictures go faster or slower and be able to put them to a beat a little bit. Uh, transitions. All right, we, we do titles and credits. You can do credits at the end. Um, you, all right, transitions. Now watch this. See this right here where it says timeline? Now click on this little arrow and now you can narrate the timeline. Um, uh, what's his name? Sean, uh, the bipolar dude, he um, uses that a lot. Um, now watch. There's timeline. That's what we were doing. Storyboard. Oh, see what that did? This, these are where you can put little um, little transitions in between the pictures. Now watch this. I clicked on transitions and look at all the weird things that you can do. Um, here, watch. I'll put some things in here. Watch. Rough dissolve. Okay, so then, all right, let's see. We'll do a flip on that one. And then what else can we do? We'll do, um, oh, the way you can, do, uh, like, curl a page up like this. All right, so here, ready? Now that we did that, you can leave it on the timeline thing. And we'll go back to the beginning. Now, watch what it'll do now. There we go. Now watch. Now that's what happens when you put the transitions in between the pictures. Um, and you can, the way you can do it is you can right click and remove. If you don't want them, right click and uh, right click and remove. Right click and remove. Um, and you can put in different ones. Um, or the other way you can do things here, wait, I, I want you to see this, is watch here. I right click on a picture and see how it says effects, effects. Now all those effects that were there before, you know, uh, with all those red flowers and stuff, um, you can get all the same effects this way. Now see the speed up double double? That's how I got the pictures to go faster. This is how I can pick other, other ways so you can see what's on each one of them. See, and you can pick up to six per thing. You push OK. Now watch, this is just the one picture of him. When I push play, I did all those all at once. See, I can do all kinds of things all at once on the same picture. So that's what you want to do if you want a bunch of treatments on the same one. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is this little thing in the corner here that says split. Okay, you, you can only do this with music when it comes to pictures. You use a lot with the video footage, as I can see. Now, the music is right here, as you can tell. Now watch this. Okay, I'm going to back it up a little. That's the end of my movie right there. I'm going to back it up. Now watch. See how the words start there, and I want to coordinate the words a little bit more? All right, so what I want to do is I want to split the music. So watch this. Okay, I want to split it right there. So what I do, watch, watch. Split. Now, I don't want the whole beginning of the song. I want to have some words on there. So you click, right click on it, push remove. Now watch. Now it's gone. Now you take this and you slide it back to the beginning. And I am ready to go and my movie is done. So I can get this going and show you how I did. <laughs> Thank you.
And that's using all a whole bunch of effects, a whole bunch of transitions, and splitting the music.